Zoe, you'll love this dish. Mm. Nice and fresh and zingy, fast to cook. Beautiful. I've made my own noodles, so I they're going to be... I saw that. I saw you lovingly doing that outside in the other kitchen. So they're going to be even more <laughs> delicious. And I've got some Szechuan peppercorns here. Beautiful. Well, I'm going to get you busy with it, because the Szechuan peppercorns, that's where it gets its name. Yeah really sort of hot and fiery and, and sort of spicy. They give you a tingle on the tongue yeah. when, you, when you eat them. And they've got a great flavour to it. And I've also got some uh, some dried chilies here. Okay. Sometimes people like to soak the dried chilies first, but um, I'm just going to get you to rough chop them. And I've got a mortar and right. pestle here. I'm going to put them in there. I'm going to get you to chop them up and then pound them yeah. all together for all right, me. Fantastic. Go. This is going to be a, a good arm workout this, this time. Is, I'm going to do the easy part. <laughs> now, I've got my pan here. I've just got it warmed up a little bit. And I've got a shallot here. You could use an onion if you want. One of these, uh, we call them oriental shallots or you call them shallots up north. And I've just sliced it all the way through there. And I've got some ginger as well. That's what beautiful. I'm going to do is slice that nice and thin, about a teaspoon of ginger. And instead of, you know, microplaning it or grating it, I'm just going to cut into little tiny battens like this. Oh, nice. You've got some good flavours in this. You know, really fragrant. I love the ginger. I mean, the Szechuan is so good for digestion, as is the ginger. Big anti-inflammatories. Means we can eat more. And what I'm going to do is I've got my uh, pan here. You could use a wok if you want, but I'm just going to use one of these uh, lovely non-stick pans. I've got some uh, some peanut oil here. Yep. Um, you could use olive oil if you want, whatever you, whatever you wanted to use. Okay. I've also got some chili oil for that extra fiery heat in there. Lovely red this chili oil. This is seriously going to be hot. You've got the dry little red bird's eye dry chilies, chili oil, and the Szechuan pepper. This one is going to hurt a lot, Zoe. <laughs> so what I'll do is that, that paste you've made in there. In a good way, he means. <laughs> it is the paste you've made there. I won't yep. use all of it. I'll get you to pop it back into this red dish here and I'll spoon it in as we go because I reckon it's going to be really, really hot. And as you can see, it's just starting to, to fire up now. That chilli oil, you can just sort of get, get, a, get a whiff of that. And what I'll do is I'll stir that around. And I've left it all fairly sort of chunky because I want it all yeah. to come together and give the, uh, the dish a bit of texture. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, add a little bit of pork and I'm just going to break it up a little bit as I throw it in here. I love that, you know, we've, we've just started cooking, we've got into it, episode's down and there's pork. We've got to have lots of pork. <laughs> I was going to put some bacon in here or some uh, some Chinese sausage would have been good as well. But what I do is with the back of the spoon here, see, I'll just break it off. Oh, that's a good, good tip. I like that. Yeah, I just want to sort of break it up. I mean, you can break it up in the pan here, but as I'm putting it in, just break it up in little pieces here. That's probably enough pork for you and I. And what I'll do is just turn that around there like that. You can see that the pork's starting to slowly cook around the outside there. Mm. And now I'll grab some of the... Um, I'll just That's going to be really hot. I'll grab some of the spice mix here, the Szechuan peppercorn and the dried chili Beautiful. and put that around so it actually cooks with the pork and I mean, becomes nice and nice and flavoursome. We need to add some salt to it. Of course. It's just one of those you things. You don't, but, you know. And I'll just give that a bit of a toss. You know, you might not want to toss it, you just want to use your uh, your spoon if you want. But you can see we've got these little lumps here. Nice, yum. And I want them to be sort of lumpy. And I just took a whiff of it then and I've got some yeah. of that peppercorn. <laughs> I will advise you, maybe put the fan on and, and ventilate the place, open a window, because it is quite strong, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Now, what I'll get you to do, Zoe, I've got some of this stuff here, which okay. I know you'll love. It's some pickled uh, some pickled oh, Chinese lovely. cabbage. And it gives it a sort of real mm. zing. So I'll get you to put that on the board lovely. then, give that a chop up. Also the spring onion yeah. as well and the coriander, give that a chop up lovely. as well. Now while this is cooking, I know my pork's just about ready. I'm going to put in the uh, the fresh noodles that I made before so, into the, the boiling water here and I'll get some more salt lovely. on you to add, add, add to that. And if you're gluten intolerant, could you make could you use rice noodles instead? You could use rice yeah. noodles nice yeah. and easy. So this could be a gluten free okay. dish, nice yeah, and easy. Yeah, nice. See? There we go. <laughs> now, One other, other level of health in there. So it's half your dish and half one. I've got some uh, satay sauce in here, which I love. Helps to give it some uh, some colour. About two tablespoons of this lovely satay sauce. Yeah. I've also got some uh, some sesame paste, and this oh, is the bitter one. You tasted this before. Oh. So this sesame paste looks like it's got the hull on it. You know, full-bodied flavour. The other one, there's tahini, is a lot more subtle, I think. That's right. And I've got a little bit of uh, sesame oil as well. Just a couple of drops okay. of that. Now stir that around there like that, just to bring it all together. Now, if you can cut up the uh, coriander and the uh, spring onion for me. Is that smelling good already? Yeah, it does. It smells great. And now, now what, what part of it would you like? Sorry to interrupt. Just cut as much as you want yeah. and we'll throw it all in there. <laughs> I've put in some light soy sauce. There we go. And give that a bit of a toss around like that. Now, I'll turn that down so it just simmers away gently. And with my chopstick, you can see I've got a lovely chopstick for stirring it, stirring it around. I'll just stir that around for a minute or so until it starts to cook. Now, over there, I've got some dark soy sauce and some yeah. chilli sauce. If you could pass Beautiful. them to me. There we go. Some so, chilli sauce in there as well. Nice big splosh of that because we want it nice and red hot. And I've got some thick sauce as well. <laughs> some thick soy sauce. <laughs> 
This has got some serious heat in it, Adrian. Like I told you, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt a lot. Now I'm gonna put in my uh, my pickles in there now, and some of the spring onions sorry, there on I've the got side to get there. Coriander. I got a bit uh, taken away by the. Uh, the Szechuan, I got excited. I think your mouth is starting to water. Now these um, these noodles are just about there. I'm just going to pull them out. Just check them to make sure they're cooked all the way through. Look at that. Nice Beautiful. thick noodles. It's almost like a fettuccine. Mm. Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is just pull them straight out of here like this and put them straight into my, uh, into my pan. I could strain it in a colander. But I'm going to use some of the liquid from the, uh, from the actual water to help give me a bit of a sauce as well. Oh, coriander and the spring onion in here like this. Give that a bit of a toss nice. off like that. And Zoe, just a tiny bit more salt. Beautiful. Please let me put some salt in there. Just a tiny bit just to make sure it's nice this and tasty. This is your dish, darling, so... On it goes. There we go. Give that a toss off like that. And now here's what you do. Take the noodles out like this into my nice big bowl here like this. Look at it, steaming hot. Into it the actually pot. has a slight sweetness to it. It does, it does. Would that be the um, the thick soy or something like that? The soy sauce, um, I yeah. think, might have a little bit of sugar into it. Yeah. Look at that. You can put mm. some coriander on top of it. You can do some other things to it. But I think right. nice and simple like this is all you need. All right, let's get into this. Chopsticks are ready. Nice piece of pork there. Mm. You know delicious. That is, that is really delicious. It's got lots of flavour. Probably just a fraction too salty for me, but the Szechuan, it's so tasty. Nothing's better than homemade noodles. I think it's got the right amount of heat for it. It is a big portion, but, uh, geez, it's delicious. <laughs>